All right, guys. So I want to talk about the Beta FPV range. This is the um, these are the the main drones you can get from Beta FPV in terms of like indoor outdoor flyers. Now the one I started with was actually this one. As you can see, this is the one I've used the most. I've crashed it. The shell's all broken, but it still flies really well. So it's still a very fast flyer. I have no problems with this. It flies really fast outdoors. So yeah, this is the Beta 75, I believe. This is the 85. And this is a 65. So as you can see, there is a significant size difference between these, especially when you compare, especially when you compare the 85 with the 65. You know, these things, they vary in size. Now, what I would say is I'm going to keep this very simple. Okay, if you want to fly around indoors, get the Beta 65 drone. Okay, this thing is perfect. It has much bigger motors than the Red Paws motors, which means it's going to be faster and harder to control at first but it's also going to have more power and speed when you need it. This is ideal. Really, really good drone, really robust, well worth the money. So get the 65 if you want to fly around indoors. And then if you want to fly outdoors, but in small spaces, like for example, outdoors, but like weaving in the branches of a tree or something like that, get the 85. This is what I did. This is the 85 and it really is perfect. Like, as you can see from the footage, it really does fly well. And I haven't even been flying drones very long at all, really. Like this is, st I'm still very new to this hobby. I haven't even got a racing drone yet, um, really. But this is just one of the perfect drones I like to fly around outdoors. Um, this really does give you a, a lot of control, especially because I've tried to fly this thing outdoors, and it's just so small and light that it doesn't really, you know, because it's so small, it doesn't grip the wind very well. It gets easily blown around and you know harder to control. Whereas with this, something like this, because it's slightly heavier, it's got a slightly wider, you know, dimension to it, it can grip the wind that much easier, and it's going to be that much more stable in the air. You know, it's going to grip the wind, it's going to be easier to fly, and it's going to be faster as well. So that is what I would say, guys. I would, I probably, I would probably say to ignore the Beta 75 for the most part, because it's just not needed. You know, if you want to fly indoors, you've got this, which is perfect. Outdoors, this one. This is sort of an in-the-middle drone that nobody really... I don't really think this is needed at all in the range. I would always say this is more than fast enough for indoors. You're never going to use the full speed of this in an indoor environment. And this is more than good enough for outdoors. You know, I can't see an, uh, a situation in which this would be needed over one of these. Because if you want to fly outdoors, you get the 85. If you want to fly indoors, the 65 is better. This is too fast for indoors, and it's not quite big enough to grip the air well enough outdoors. So it's sort of an in-the-middle drone that does neither thing well. Now, one thing I would say, I've always been an advocate of this. This is the Beta FPV transmitter that, that they sell on its own. It's about £25 on Amazon. Really, really highly recommended. It's very easy to set. This is on FreeSky, FRSky. This is very easy to configure and bind to any of these drones. And the best part is once you've configured it, once you've turned it on, all you need to do is put a battery in whichever drone you want to fly, if you have all three, for example, and it automatically binds to it and you don't need to configure it again at all. You just turn it on and it's ready to go. So that's what I would suggest, guys. My personal favourite out of these drones has to be the 65, but then for flying outdoors, this is the only one I can really use. The 65 just gets blown around too much. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.